Welcome to day 2424, day 2424, Sharon Hornell's mirror of what she up to now. Documenting my journey, just sharing what's working, what's not working, the good, bad, the ugly, the crazy, the like I rambled yesterday about uh, all the nonsense in that's on social media in the media that isn't really true for most of us Americans, but uh, the media would have you believe that we are at each other's throats all the time. And if you go on social media and you comment on a couple of posts, you might feel like that because you usually get personally attacked. Uh, I I get sucked into it sometimes and I'm, I need to stop doing that because it's not good balance for me. Today in the Let's Grow Annual Challenge, we are talking about balance of giving. How much giving is the right amount of giving for you? And it's whether you're giving of your time, your energy, your volunteering, your resources, etc. What is the right balance for you? Just like work-life balance, so we talk about the balance strategy for supersize your business. How do you know and how do you make sure that you're behaving in a way that, number one, sets a good example for other people, and number two, is right for you, feels right for you. Uh, I, for the longest time, for 50 years, was not a believer in balance. I thought it was BS. I thought it was nonsense. I thought you had a hustle, go, 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 grind, work, 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 do more than anybody else, and uh, just basically run through your life and hustle in order to create the success in the life that you want. And after 2020 and a sudden cardiac arrest and a massive life interruption, frankly, a death interruption, <laughs> but a life interruption, I learned that things had to change. They had to change in a really big way for me in order to continue being here on the planet. And so I uh, had to do a lot of self-reflection, had to do a lot of priority setting, tapping into what really were and are my long-term lifetime legacy goals, what's most important to me, what are my core values, all the things that I teach in the Let's Grow Annual Challenge and share in the last Let's Grow Annual Challenge. I guess I share them more than teach them. Uh, and the previous annual challenges that I've done and shared online are all about becoming a better version of ourselves, right? Living the life that we are meant to live while we're here. And a part of that is boundaries and expectations and balance. And balance is, you know, kind of like walking on a tightrope. It's a really precarious act of determining and ever-changing what's right for us and, and knowing ourselves better and personally developing and, again, becoming the best possible version of ourselves. So we talked about that today. We talked about the balance strategy for our businesses and how critical it is that we set a good example for the people that are in our business. I am uh, kind of embarrassed to admit, but I was a terrible example. Uh, I was super successful, made a lot of money, got a lot of accomplishments, got did a lot of stuff uh, when I was younger, but I don't think I... I did it in an ethical way. I'm not talking about right way with respect to that, but I didn't do it in a it in a, the right way that honored me as a person, as a as a human being. I just was wearing myself out, and that's why sometimes we get these wake up calls that say, "Hmm, stop, hold the phone. Do you really think you're going in the right direction? Because you're not." And then you have to really do the hard work of thinking for ourselves, reflecting on. Um, past choices and decisions we've made and asking ourselves, okay, when I made that decision, when I made that choice, when I did that, when I behaved that way, when I worked 16 or 18 hours a day, I thought I was doing the right thing, right? We always do what we think is best at the time. And it's only with hindsight and reflection that do we understand how we can do better in the future. So I am, believe it or not, a much milder, calmer version of who I was back then. Although my kids will tell you differently. They say, mm, you're same old hyper lady. All right. So that's what we were talking about today. I have got a super busy week, even though I just said about balance. It's a balanced busy week. <laughs> There's a lot going on in my family and in all different areas and aspects of my life. But if you need help, if you have a question about business strategy, balance, because I did it wrong for so long, I think I'm pretty good at it now. And I had to learn how to do it properly. And again, what works for me isn't necessarily going to work for you. It depends the stage of your life you're in, what your goals and objectives are, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I can definitely help you find a plan and implement that plan, not just a concept of a plan or I, I don't have a plan, but I'm going to say I have a plan. I actually have a plan that has worked for hundreds and hundreds of people. So if you're interested or need something like that, hit me up. Otherwise, have a fantastic day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow. I'll pop in and let you know what's up. Have a great day.
slow reaction. Internet is definitely crazy these days.